Okay, so most of my stuff is from Walmart, but this is what I got from Aldi. I am getting my Walmart stuff tomorrow, so hopefully I don't have anything missing. But I got a five pound bag of the jasmine rice. I've been buying this for years. I love this stuff. My husband asked me to get more Oreos. I got the white kind and the chocolate. He says the Oreos are better than these. But for $1.55, these are a good substitute for shakes and to dunk in milk. They make them much better. Great for dipping. I had no plans to buy cinnamon chip mini muffins, but I thought my kids would like to have these for breakfast, and they were less than a dollar. You guys know I'm big fans of the red stickers. I got this artichoke salad to have on our flatbread pizzas we're having this week, and I just know that it would be a topping that myself and my girls would both like to have on our pizzas and that would last us at least two dinners worth of pizzas so definitely a good buy this is probably one of my favorite Aldi specialty items I think it's so yummy speaking of our frozen non flatbreads my oldest daughter has asked me recently to get hummus so that she can make flatbread so that she can make flatbread with hummus and vegetables for her lunch she really really likes that and I really like Aldi hummus, so I picked up some of that. And then finally I had to get a loaf of white bread for this week, and they were on clearance for 10 cents, so I actually ended up buying two. I already stuck one in the freezer. Uh, the sell-by date on this is Wednesday, today is Saturday. So we will use this for most of the week, and then if I need to, I'll stick it in the freezer. But for 10 cents, I couldn't pass it up. It's 12 pack of Summit Cola. And my final Aldi item is this restaurant style Italian dressing. Obviously the look of it, it is a replica of Olive Garden's Italian dressing. I have seen on Aldi groups that I'm on on Facebook, people really enjoy this dressing. And my husband is a fan of Italian dressing and my older daughter doesn't like creamy dressings. So I thought this would be good to try. It looks pretty thin, like it would definitely cover your, your salad without needing a ton of it, which I think is good. Look, that looks just like um, Olive Garden there, that's funny. So we're giving this a whirl. I'll let you guys know in the comments what we think of it. But this was our final thing at Aldi, and the total was 1906 for everything. And now we'll get to the Walmart haul where most of the groceries are from. Okay, so here is our Walmart grocery haul. I got salt pork. Um, this actually was suggested to me when I was in the Walmart app, and I like to use this to make a soup. It's called Old Fashioned Noodle Soup. I make homemade noodles. It has potatoes, salt pork, and then basically water, salt, and pepper. It's very basic, but it's super good, and my husband thought that sounded good. I haven't made a soup in a long time, so we are making Old Fashioned, old fashioned Noodle Soup. I got some asparagus just to have as a side with a dinner. I don't know exactly which dinner, but I love asparagus, and it was a decent price. We are having, um, as I mentioned, in the Aldi haul, we're having flatbread pizzas, so I got mozzarella for that. Puff pastry, it's my mom's birthday this week, and I'm going to visit her, and I'm going to make turnovers. I've shared with you guys how I made turnovers in my fast food what's for dinner. I will link that at the end of this video. I think I'm going to do strawberry rhubarb, not cherry, but don't hold me to that because strawberry rhubarb can be pretty runny, so the cherry might be a safer bet. Still undecided. We'll see. I don't have plans to use the stir-fry vegetables, but this is never in stock on my Walmart app, so I had to grab it while I could. I think this is so nice to have in the freezer for an easy like stir-fry dinner. I use soy sauce, sesame oil, maybe an onion if I have one, and then rice, and it comes together really quickly. It's a really easy pinch dinner, so I like to have these on hand. Thankfully, my family eats vegetables really well. I, again, this was on my Walmart app, and it's not normally available, so I just bought it because it was an option. I actually might use this on pizzas. I would love to have the onions, the red peppers, green peppers. I don't really need the celery, but I think it'll still be good on my pizza, so I might open it for that. I got large pepperonis this time instead of buying an entire bag just for doll or instead of buying an entire bag of pepperonis, I decided to get the deli kind and my family likes these. Pizza sauce, brown gravy. I'm gonna make steak bites. I have frozen lots of frozen beef, some of it being steak in the freezer. We bought a portion of a cow, and so I'm gonna make steak bites with mashed potatoes, and then I have carrots I want to use, so I'm gonna roast carrots. And then I'm just going to make the brown gravy. I love homemade gravies, but my husband really likes this. So 
We did not use walking tacos last week. That meal kept getting bumped and bumped and I decided to add this to the walking taco dinner. I know my daughter who doesn't eat meat will really like this. It has peppers and the corn. She loves when I have corn as a side. And for the walking tacos, I thought that'd be a good addition. I've never bought this before, but when I saw it, I thought of her. I was completely out of rosemary. I use it in a lot of dishes. I love to put it on bread and rolls, and I just had to replenish my stock. Potatoes are for the mashed potatoes. I bought whole wheat flour. I generally buy all-purpose flour, but I want to try starting to make whole wheat bread um, just as a slight health shift. All-purpose flour is so easy to use, and it's in all recipes. I just want to see if I can make a bread that my whole family will like using whole wheat flour. So we'll see. Um, I got a confetti cake mix. I like to bake from scratch, but I have a friend whose birthday is tomorrow, and I might be watching her kids for her and her husband to go on a date. And if we do, I want to make cupcakes for her when her kids are over. So I thought that'd be fun. And then I'm going to make a homemade buttercream icing. And then I just replenished our cupcake um, stock. I'm not sure which of these we'll use. But I got two different liners thinking if one was out of stock, I'd at least get something. So, of course, I got both of them. No big deal. Elbow macaroni is for mac and cheese. That was supposed to be on last week's menu, if you remember, from the Disney Princess Cookbook. It got bumped to this week, and now I actually have the right noodles because last week I ordered elbow macaroni and they gave me shells, which I did use last week, but just in a different dish. Kind of a last-minute throw together. And then finally, my non-grocery items. Um, I got substituted a larger thing of cat litter. I tried buying 14 pounds. I got 20 pounds, so yay. I needed more napkins just to keep on our table. And then I tried buying the Great Value toilet paper, and they substituted me for the Quilted Northern. And this is what $58.17 got me from Walmart this week. A lot of it spent on that chunk.